Also tonight, breaking news from the Cyprus area where a five year old boy has died. This happened after the child was first reported missing from a home on Keegan's Ledge Lane. The boy was found in a retention pond a quarter mile away. ABC 13's Alex Bazarjian has the heartbreaking details. Investigators tell us the boy was autistic, and they also tell us that autistic children have a tendency to wander off. We know the boy was reported missing just before noon. Investigators tell us it was actually family members who spotted him in the pond and his father who pulled him out of the water. I can't imagine the feelings, the questions. Nico Jones gasped when we told her a five-year-old boy with autism had drowned in this retention pond. She lives in the neighborhood and has a daughter the exact same age. Devastating. I mean, I feel for the situation right now, even though it's not my child. Investigators say the boy's family reported him missing sometime before noon. Precinct Constable 5 deputies were the first to respond. From what we understand, the family had been looking for him and had come over to the park and uh, family had found the uh, the child in the water. Life saving measures were performed, but unfortunately it was too late. Devastation written all over the faces of family members who came to the scene. I don't foresee any charges uh, uh, being filed. I just foresee this as a very unfortunate, you know, accident. Sergeant Michael Ritchie says the boy had to have walked at least a quarter mile from his home to the retention pond. He was allegedly barefoot with only a diaper and a T-shirt on. We're trying to pinpoint a time exactly when this occurred. We're, we're reviewing video. Uh, but there were no calls of service uh, about a child walking alone. Unfortunately, Richie says he's seen this happen many times over his career. Autistic children are known to be attracted to water and are more apt to wander off. Nearly a month ago, an eight-year-old boy with autism reportedly drowned in a lake near his home in Fort Bend County. We probably need more resources for parents with autistic children. Richie says part of their investigation will include going into this home where the boy lived and looking to see if there were any kind of safeguards in place to keep him from wandering off. Experts say parents with autistic children should utilize GPS tracking devices and make sure their kids have identifying information on them at all times. In Cyprus tonight, I'm Alex Bozargian, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.